Hey guys, um, so I was gonna sh shoot this last weekend, but I got a little caught up and busy, but now I have time. So I wanna tell you guys what happened to me on July 20th, 21st, and the 22nd. So anyway, so the 20th. Um, it was the day that Tylee and I, if Tylee's watching, hey, um, went to go to Knott's Berry Farm to have fun, but also see Midnight Riding Concert. Um, so when we first got there, we decided to check out the venue see if they're selling VIP tickets. Um, they were, they were handing out, um, the wristbands, but they didn't have the person there to collect the money. So they gave us the wristbands to, uh, say that we reserved it. They said just come back around like three o'clock or something to claim the VIP badge. So I'm like, okay, cool. We'll take the wristbands and we'll come back soon. Um, the first one I rode is Silver Bullet. Love the ride. That was awesome. I felt like I was flying. It was cool. Um, also Tyler liked it too. It reminded us of, um, Tatsu on Six Flags, except we're not flying like dragons, which that was like, awesome, right? Um, so yeah, we went on a lot of rides. I wish we could ride all the rides, but we had to go see Midnight Red, and also my friend has a phobia with heights. I don't blame her. I I don't blame her. I mean, I understand. But we did get awesome stuff. Like, we got, like, a little hair, like, threaded hair tie thing that you put in your hair. It's up there in my room, but I don't want to go get it. But it was pretty, it was awesome, so I know how to use it. Anyway, um, we went to go, um, line up for the concert. We found out who's the opening act. Um, Avery was the first act. She's so awesome. I love her song. Um, if you don't know her, look her up on YouTube. Uh, she did duet with um, Max Schneider. Um, they did a cover of Payphone by Maroon 5. You have to check it out. They did an iPhone cover with Kurt Schneider as well. You gotta check it out. It's awesome. And she was awesome. She was really awesome. I mean, awesome so many times, right? <laughs> and then Tucker came on. If you don't know Tucker, they are a Scottish band. They are so funny. They are so cute. And they have really nice accents. And then, um, Girl Girls came, which now they're called Forever because they're not school girls anymore, so they just said, let's just call ourselves Forever. They rock. I mean, they know how to move and stuff, and my friend's like, Gina, that girl can move. Oh my gosh. I'm like, yeah, she can move. And then Midnight Red came on. They, everyone was screaming. I couldn't even hear myself. I was like, holding my ears up saying, what? I can't hear you. Oh my God. I can't hear you. But everyone was crazy screaming for them. Even I saw some awesome um, posters. I mean, most of them were lighting up. I'm like, hey, who lights the posters? That is awesome. I wish I could take a picture of them, but they gave them away. <laughs> so, um, but you know what? They rock. Um, they did a little surprise for a fan who I think won a contest. They did a chorus cover of Justin Bieber's Boyfriend. I thought it was kind of cute. And they were giving roses to any fan they want. I wish I got a rose, but I think uh, I would not keep it because I would ride more rides. <laughs> yeah, but they were so awesome. Um, and since I got the VIP, I get to do a meet and greet with them. And also, it was my free ticket to go see see their next show at the Avalon. I can tell you about that later on. Um, anyway, we did a meet and greet. I met Avery. I met the I met Tucker, the band. I met um, School Girls, a.k.a. Forever. I met Midnight Red. Um, you know, it was an awesome day. Um, I got home. I was so tired and everything. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that day was awesome. Now the 21st. I was trying to figure out what to do. Like, how am I going to get to Avalon? So, I was trying to figure out, okay, I don't want my dad to drive me because he doesn't like to drive in Hollywood on the weekend. And then, so I looked it up to see, is there, like, a station that's near it? And I found out it's near the Hollywood Vine Station. I'm like, hey, Dad, just drop me off at North Hollywood Station, and I'll take the station there. He's like, all right, perfect for me, because it's down, it's down the street. Um, this, the North Hollywood is down the street where I live. So, it's cool. And it's cheaper for my dad, and... He hates the traffic there. I hate the traffic there. So I got there. Um, I went the wrong way. I went down Sunset. I couldn't find the address number. Like, where's the address number? I can't find it. 
So I was looking, turns out I was going down instead of up. So I'm like, okay, I gotta turn around, found the Avalon, thank God, and I made just in time. Of course I thought. So I met up with my, so I met up with a couple of my friends. Um, I got myself a free midnight red bracelet. Also, I don't want to go get it. <laughs> um, and yeah. So there was this say, hey, we're about to start the show soon, so just relax and have fun, right? And then the smoke machine comes above our head. We thought it was cool for a second. It felt nice and cooling. All of a sudden, it became too much, and it was like I was coughing a bit. I'm like, oh, maybe it's just something in my throat, but I was, I was coughing. My head was starting to hurt, and I'm like, okay, I need to get out. I, I can't. It's too much for me. I think I'm about to get an asthma attack or something. And then I'm, I was about to choke to death. I was like, oh, shoot, I really need to get out. So we all got out. I couldn't see. I couldn't find anyone. I couldn't even find my friends. And then one of the ladies who, who runs um, the area, she found me, and she's like, Oh my god, this girl's about, this girl is about to choke. Um, we gotta get her outside. So, I got out. I was breathing. My eyes were kind of watery. My head was really hurting like crazy. I found two, two of the girls, and then I run in, and I found my other friend. I asked her, hey, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I just can't find the other people. So, you know, we just stand out for a while to see if the coast is clear. We were waiting for five minutes. Um, they were like, what's Two of the people were like, what's taking so long? So I was like, you know what, I'll go check to see if it's clear. One of the security guys says, it's clear. So I went to go get them. I was like, hey, it's clear. So we were back in. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And it was okay at first. So we're like, okay, don't worry, guys. The bomb machine is not chemical. It's just CO2, so carbon dioxide, the water. Really cold water. But I was like, next, in my head, I was like, next time, do it from the ankles. We like to feel it not being covered with it. And then Avery came on stage. She did her three songs. And then security's like, we got to get out. We got to evacuate. I'm like, like, what? What's going on? Like, is there a technical difficulty? He's like, no, we got to get out. I'm like, okay. So we left. We got out. There's so many fire trucks. There's so many ambulance businesses that I'm like, whoa, this is serious. We found out that a lot of people were having asthma attacks, they couldn't breathe, they were getting massive migraines, so I'm like, uh-oh. So the police had to shut it down. And then, 15 minutes later, they said, sorry guys, it's canceled. So the pre-party, that's where I went to, that, that, that was the Avalon show, was canceled. I'm like, are you serious? I did a lot of work, and I didn't get, it. wow, that was, so I started, I was like, you know what, I'll just stay for a while because my friends were there. You know, maybe we would see Midnight Red, some other people. And when Midnight Red came out, it, we had to do a quick thing, like just autographs, but I sent in a couple of pictures, even though the security guards were so mean. Every time, I just wanted to take a picture with Midnight Red, and there were so many, like, no pictures, no pictures, no pictures. I'm like, hey, I came here for a picture. I got my money's worth. Let me get a picture. So, and, you know, we just thought, and a couple of fans and I, we stand back. Um, I took a picture of Tucker. They were there for a while. They said, hey, let's just hang out for a while. I think Avery left. Um, the school girls, I mean, forever. They were there. I just didn't, I just didn't see them together. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I was too busy talking to my friends. So we were waiting for Midnight Red to come out. And there was like the KPLA 5, the Sound Mundo, ABC 7. TMZ came out. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're getting, they're getting so much publicity that they should enjoy it, but also they owe us because we had a lot, because we spent our money for a VIP ticket. Um, you know, they came out, we were trying to get pictures. All of us were, and they couldn't go because they had another show at Rolling Stone, which is um, a 21 older club. A lot of people thought I was going to go. I'm like, I'm only 20. I look 21, but I'm not 20. But I'm not 21. No. <laughs> so that was the thing. And, you know, I was trying to fight saying, hey, you know, we we spent a lot of money. We made a lot of sacrifices. We want one picture. That's all we want. We want one good picture. And security guards and the manager, he tried his best. But, you know, they were running late. I got a little disappointed. Not in, I mean, I understand their schedule and everything. But, you know, it would be nice if they could take five minutes. Just get one group picture. That's all we want. I mean, it only takes about five minutes with, like, I think about 15 people who want a group picture. It's not that bad. But they had to go. I was a little disappointed. And 
completely blocked out. <laughs> I mean, I was a little disappointed, but, you know, I'm not disappointed in them because I understand they tried, but, you know, it would be nice. But they said they owe us, so I'm like, okay, that's all I'm going to say. But I told them that I was kind of disappointed, but they thought I was disappointed in them. I'm, Midnight Red, if you're watching this, I'm not disappointed you guys. I know you guys tried. I mean, I can see it. It was just that everyone just wanted one group picture. That's all they wanted. I mean, I, under I understand you were busy and everything, but yeah, but you do owe us. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now the 22nd, which was Teen Choice Awards, and I was about to go to um, an after party for Do Something, which is they were going to give out money for people who need school supplies. I thought that was a really good cause because it allowed me to get school supplies. Especially in my case because I'm a college student and most of the money I have to buy books. Which sucks. I mean, $300 for a textbook? I mean, that's a lot of money. And so I went. I got there. There was a little complication going on, but then I got in. <laughs> So, um, we kind of go inside the dark room yet because, um, everyone is still setting up and so, but they opened up, we got in, we got comfortable, um, I decided, hey, you know, no one's not doing anything right now, I'm, we're just getting drinks, the food's not serving yet, I'm like, you know what, I'm going outside, maybe I want to see if there's something going on. Celebrities were coming out and... I saw two people, um, Jake Short and Stephanie Scott. If you don't know them, they're from Ant Farm. Jake Short, he plays Fletcher, and Stephanie Scott plays Lexi, the mean cheerleader. I know this because I have a cousin, and he watches Disney Channel a lot. So, I get filled in a lot. And I'm also an actor, so I watch whatever I can. And they were so cool to stop by and take a picture. I thought that was really cool. Who else did I meet? Oh, my God. Oh, I met Cameron Boyd. Um, and Debbie Ryan. They're from Jesse. And I also heard, um, Debbie Ryan only stayed for a while, but it was awesome for her to stop by and take a picture. Oh, I also met, um, Sarah McCormick. She loved my earring while I wore. I wore, like, a onesie, which is, like, I got one long, um, pink feather on one side and a stud on the other side. So that's what the onesie is called. She thought it was so cool. I'm like, wow, someone noticed. That's awesome. And all the time I searched about, like, what this web is here. I don't know. I'm just taking advantage. And then I see, and I'm hunting out for JoJo because my friends and I, we love to meet JoJo. JoJo's an awesome person. So we were just, and then I found my friend talking to a makeup artist, and he's trying to look for JoJo as well. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go meet up with him, see if he sees anyone. And then when I, when I went up, I'm like, oh my god, Max Schneider's there. And okay, here's the real reason why I really freaked out. Alright, because I did freak out. I ha the day before, the event, I had a dream that I was on my phone, I was texting my dad, right, and um, I get Max's tweets on my phone because um, I like to keep up with a lot of people, so um, so he, he he put a tweet up, and I'm like, oh, Max, well, I wonder what Twitter, I wonder what tweet came up, so I looked, and Max said, I'm coming to the do something work, I'm like, Oh my gosh, I so want to meet him, right? And then I woke up like, nah, I don't think he's coming because he's too busy with his tour coming up soon. So, you guys gotta go see his tour. You, you gotta go see him and Victoria Justice, okay? If you don't have tickets, get your tickets right now, alright? Or try to sneak in, whatever works. <laughs> um, anyway, so back to that day. I saw Max, I was like, oh my god, my dream's coming true. He's actually here. I'm like freaking out. I Went to go grab two of my friends because they're Max Schneider fans as well. And um, we ran. We were waiting for him to come down, right? And then we we're like, he came. I'm like, oh, my gosh, he's so cute. And we we're like, hey, can we take a picture with you? He's like, of course, baby. I'm like, he's so a baby a lot. Wow. <laughs> and I was, I was the last one to take a picture with him. And I was, like, freaking out. I was, like, about to cry and everything because I'm, like, is this real? I can't believe my dream is actually coming true. Oh, my God. I should believe in my dreams more often. And then everyone's, like, Gina, calm down. Like, I'm sorry. I'm freaking out because I, I can't believe this is happening. He's, like, it's all good, baby. It's all good. I'm, like, kind of laughing. And then um, I kind of talked to him for a little bit because um, he wanted to meet his other fans as well. I totally understand. I told him, hey, do you like um, that Lucky Star bottle? I said he's, like, 
that was you? Oh my god, I love it. Like, he actually loved it. I was like, wait, you really love it? Wow. I told him, like, it took me a while because I had to get the bottle. I had to get the paper. I had to fold. I had to store. I had to do a lot of things. And so storing is storing. I had to go get the box. I have to write the letter. I have to send it out in mail. So it took me a week. And he was like, girl, I love it. It lights up my room. I'm like, oh, thank you. Like, I... I sent a lot of presents to some some people I like. They they're very appreciative. Like this is the most appreciated I ever got in my life. So thank you, Max Schneider. That really touched my heart. Um, let's see who else did I met. I met Coco Jones. Um, if you don't know her, she's from Let It Shine. She was also competing for the next big thing. I don't know which season now because I I don't keep up that much. But you she was there. Um, who else? So I have to backtrack a lot. Um, oh. oh, um, Jillian, um, from, um, Awkward. If you don't know Awkward, that is a TV show on MTV. So she's on Awkward. I met her. She's so cool. Um, and then let's see. I also met Brandon. If you don't know who Brandon is, he's from Pretty Little Liars. He plays Lucas, the kind of psycho kid who kind of has a crush on Hannah. I met, he is so chill to talk to. I mean, he asked me, are you having a good time and everything? And I also asked him advice about acting because I want to be an actress. So it was pretty awesome. And, oh my God, who else did I meet? Oh my, I have to look, comment. I need to look through my photo list to see who else I met. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if I'm taking too long. Okay. Here's my photo. Oh my God, I met a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, where is it? Oh, okay. No, I said that. I said that. Oh, um, I met Ansley. Um, she plays Dina in Shake It Up. I met other Shake It Up people: Bella Thorne, Zendaya, Adam. I wish was Sean Cindy was there, but I understand. Um, who else is there? I'm sorry if I'm looking through my photos. I'm real. I just, just I. Ken Dooney was there. He was pretty cool, and he's tall. Um, I met um, Carlon Jeffrey. Um, he's also in Ant Farm. He plays um, Cameron, China's little brother, uh, older brother. I don't know why I said little brother. I think because of his height. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, and then I was hanging out with um, Max's pianist. Um, his name is Nick. He's awesome. He's gonna be on tour with Max as well. So look him up. Also check him on Twitter. Nick Spicy at Nick. Spicy brown. I don't know why he picked spicy brown. Like, is he up with spicy brown mustard? I think I don't know, but hey, spicy brown mustard is awesome. <laughs> so yeah, so I was talking with with Nick because I felt I felt bad he was left down. And Max was like talking to his man, so I got to know Nick. He was he's a really chill guy. I like him. And then Max came up. He's like, hey, hey, it's you again. You're talking to Nick. Nick, she made the bottle I showed you. Remember that? Like. Oh my god, you showed it to him too? Oh my god. So, I did more pictures then because, you know, no one was in buggy Max. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take more pictures. And then Max, Max and Nick went back inside. And then I saw Harry Shum Jr. Harry Shum Jr. plays Mike Chang in Glee. Love that guy. He is an amazing dancer. Oh my gosh. He's, he's so light on his feet. And he's so sweet. And I'm so happy that I met a Glee, a Glee person. So I'm like, yeah, I met a Glee person. <laughs> And then I went to go get my friend because she's a Gleek as well. And she got overexcited. Like, oh my god, a Gleek person is there as well. I'm like, yeah. There were other celebrities there too. I guess I just didn't notice them. Or maybe I didn't find them. <laughs> anyway. And try to brownie. Other celebrities I met. There might be. But they made an announcement. And, you know, um, how Bella was talking about her, um, about the charity thing. Also, she was performing, she also did a performance with I Am Five. I Am Five is a boy band. Um, if you heard them, that's great. If you don't, look them up. They're awesome. They were really good. I, I heard, they, they did a duet together. That was awesome. I love the dance skills. So, they were really cool. And then another person came up. Um, her name is Natalia Storm. She, um, she was on that auction, I think she was on that auction show, um, the, the opening act. I think that's what it's called. I don't have oxygen channel. I don't, I do have oxygen channel, but it's not that much. Um, anyway, she was there. She came out with this hair, 
like a bow hair. I'm like, oh my god, that is that's heavy. Oh my god, I want to take. I need to take a picture of this girl because that is awesome hair. And I heard she opened up an Elton John, opened up for Elton John. Elton John's awesome. Oh my god, that is a huge deal. So she opened up for Elton John. So, and I heard her. Wow, she has amazing. Her voice is like almost like Amy Winehouse. So I thought that was really cool. So she has that jazzy, jazzy soul vibe. So I love that. And she's really cool too. She's super sweet. So look, look up Natalia Storm. And I met. <laughs> there's like a lot of people I met. <laughs> and yeah. But anyway, um, so everyone was getting tired and I was, I was like just going around, you know, just brushing up my hair and stuff. And then I got, and I talked to Nick again from Max's band. And they're about to go because they have rehearsals tomorrow morning. I'm like, totally understand. And Nick asked me, are you going to go to their shows? I really wanted to go. I mean, no joke. I really wanted to go see them perform because I heard Max is an amazing singer. And he really is. I love, I love his covers. My favorite is Break Demon for sure because there was so much emotion in that song. I, I cried. <laughs> no joke. I really cried. And, it was, it's just so beautiful. I mean, his voice and the, how he carries his emotions in those lyrics are just so beautiful. So, good job, Max. And, oh, and his Maroon 5 medley with Victoria Justice. Awesome. That was the best video I ever heard him, I've seen in my life. And her music's awesome too. And it was a live lyric. I'm like, wow, that, I'm like, how did you do the pillow and, you know, make sure the cues are right? I'm like, that was amazing. I mean, it's hard to do a live lyric. I mean, I heard some people try to do that. It is really hard, and they pull it off really awesome. So, good job. Good job. Props to Kurt. Props to Max. Props to Victoria. You guys, and props to the crew. You guys did a great job. Even though, are you going to give away that pillow from that first game? Because I would love that pillow. <laughs> it's okay. I think you gave it away. But if you're not, can I have the pillow? I would love that pillow. <laughs> so, anyway, but... But if you do see them in concert, they are going to give away um, some of their props um, to you guys. I think they're going to sell them on eBay or something, or maybe during concert. Get it. Trust me. You want to keep that prop, all right? So, but yeah. When that, Nick asked me if I'm going to go on tour, I'm like, I can't. I mean, I don't have transportation. I don't have money. I really wanted to see you guys. Um, maybe if it's in L.A. and it's somewhere close by and somewhere like the last minute. Maybe I'll go. I told him that. So he's like, okay, well, I'll keep you posted. I'm like, oh, no. And then Max came by. I said goodbye to him. You know, I hope he does really well on his tour. Max, please rock on your tour. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Even though I wish I could be the where Costa Mesa is, I really wish I could. But I don't have money. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you're going to do great, for sure. You're going to do really well, Shiner Bunny. And, um, I'll be, maybe I'll be there in spirit. I don't know. If you're a spiritual guy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, I say goodbye to him, and, you know, he's such a sweetheart. Oh my god. Yeah, he's such a sweetheart. And, you know, all my friends were there. We were just talking, and then everyone's like, I'm tired. I want to go. I'm like, okay, let's see if I can, uh, get my friends. They don't want to leave yet, because, you know, they, they want to eat so they're just good there. Well, they have pizza and egg rolls. That's good. <laughs> um, but I am fine performed to one of their songs that was, was that the DJ played. They were dancing to it, lip singing to it. I wish they sung it, but um, they were kind of taking the stage apart that time. So I'm like, dang it, I wanted them to sing. But they did a dance. They gave away they gave away their um their photos and they took pictures and they signed it. I thought that was really cool of them. And then my friends got tired and they're like. All right, we can go. So we went. So we so we left. Um, we went to go take the shuttle, and that was it. So um, that was the day. That was the excitement of last weekend. So hope you guys enjoy the video, and um, if something exciting happens, I'll tell you guys soon. All right, bye.